Hi everybody, it's Vicki Gale coming to you from Dwaynesburg, New York on day 1,154 of the stay-at-home order. Actually, probably not quite that much, but boy, does it feel like it. Today I'm bringing you some songs by a singer-songwriter that I've really come to love and just really get into his music. And I am very happy that I am not doing a tribute to another musician that we've lost to COVID. So it's a good thing all the way around, I guess, that way. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, Michael Jason Isbell. Now, he was born on February 1st, 1979, in a little town called Green Hill, Alabama, which is actually on the border between Alabama and Tennessee. Played in a lot of bands growing up, and in 2001, just he was early 20s, he joined a band called the Drive-By Truckers, and he was in that group from 2001 to 2007. But during that time, unfortunately, he really became dependent on alcohol, and he said he doesn't truly remember a lot about those days, but he does know that he had worked it out in his head where if he took two or three shots before a concert, then they pass the bottle around to the whole band during the concert. <clears throat> and then at that point, he had done just all about all he could do and still be standing up. And he figured he was downing a fifth of Jack every night when they were playing. And who knows, you know, on the days they weren't playing. He left the drive-by truckers in 2007 and formed his own band in 2009, and the band was called the two, the 400 Unit. Good heavens. <laughs> yeah. And um, the 400 Unit actually was named after a uh, psychiatric hospital, a uh, section of a psychiatric hospital down in Alabama. So it was very fortuitous that he formed this particular band. It was a group of musicians from the Muscle Shoals, Alabama area because there was a young woman in it by the name of Amanda Shires. Now, Amanda became Jason's girlfriend. You know, they were dating. And in 2012, she actually staged an intervention with the help of Ryan Adams, who was another um, singer-songwriter, and Jason's manager, Tracy Thomas. They staged an intervention, got him into rehab, and actually in 2013, uh, Jason and Amanda were married after he was clean. And <clears throat> he also um, started making the most amazing music. His music was good before, uh, but the, the things that he's been writing since he got cleaned up is just amazing. His first album after the intervention was in 2014. It was called Southeastern. And on it was a song called Live Oak. And in that song, he expressed a very real fear that he had that people wouldn't like the sober Jason, that they only liked the, the party, you know, intoxicated person and wouldn't really like who he was now that he was clean. Um, of course, that wasn't true, but uh, here's the way he expressed it, the words in the first verse of the song. There's a man who walks beside me. He is who I used to be. And I wonder if she sees him and confuses him with me. So uh, that just gives you a little sample of the kinds of lyrics that he writes. That particular album, Southeastern, got a, um, it was album of the year. He was, had the song of the year and also vocalist of the year at the uh, Americana Music Awards in 2014 for that album. And in 2017, he recorded another album called The Nashville Sound. <clears throat> By then he's, um, living a little bit south of Nashville, and um, recorded this album, and every song on it just speaks to me. The What I find is that there are little phrases in every one of his songs that I can truly identify with and that resonate with me, and I think that you may find the same thing. Um, also, he has a new album due out on May 15th. I'm hoping that the situation with the pandemic does not change that, but right now it's, the, it's due for release May 15th and it's called Reunion, so you can be looking for that. So um, I'm going to share two songs with you from the album The Nashville Sound from 2017. The first one is about a country boy from Arkansas who finds himself in the big city and a little bit lost, and uh, it resonates with me because 
I sometimes still still feel a little bit lost. I was born and raised uh, in Jacksonville, which you all may know is a very large town, but at the time it was Duval County and uh, very rural where I grew up and very country. And sometimes I feel like I am a little bit lost out here. So um, this song is called Last of My Kind. Couldn't be happy in the city at night Can't see the stars for the neon lights The sidewalk's dirty and the river's worse Underground trains all run in reverse Nobody here can dance like me Everybody's clapping on the one and the three Am I the last of my kind? last of my kind. Tried to go to college, but I didn't belong. Everything I said was either funny or wrong. They laughed at my boots, laughed at my jeans, laughed when they gave me amphetamines. Left me alone in a bad part of town. 36 hours to come back down. Am I the last of my kind? Am I last of my kind. Daddy said the river would always lead me home. But the river can't take me back in time. And daddy's dead and gone. And the family farm is a parking lot for the Waltons five and dime. Am I the last of my last of my kind. So many people with so much to do. Winter's so cold, your hands turn blue. Old men sleeping on the filthy ground. Spend their whole day just walking around. Nobody else here seems to care. They walk right by them like they ain't even there. Am I the last of my kind? Am I the last of my kind. Mama said, God, don't give you too much to bear. Well, that might be true in Arkansas, but I'm a long, long way from there. And that old world's an old and faded picture in my mind. Am I the last of my kind? Am I? That was Last of My Kind. It's on the National Sound album by Jason Isbell from 2017. Uh, this next song is also on the National Sound album and also from 2017, interestingly enough. Uh, and the song is called Tupelo. And my songwriting friends tell me that Tupelo is a very popular city name to use because it rhymes with a lot of things. Uh, this one doesn't have to rhyme uh, with anything. It doesn't actually rhyme in the song, but it's still Tupelo. There's some lines. The song is actually about two people and how they've just totally drifted apart. And even what you thought was there doesn't seem to be there anymore. And there's a line in it that really resonated with me with some reason. It said, the wars between the weekends tore our playhouse down. And I thought about it in a way, um, not unlike my first husband and I, that, you know, during the weekends you could go out, you could see friends, you had a good time, you all got along. But between the weekends, the week, the work week, when you had to deal with the daily ins and outs of life, is where the difficulties came. And um, this song really resonates with me for that reason. So um, this is called Tupelo, and I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I meant to tell you one other thing about this. And that is that um, Jason actually didn't want, was worried about releasing it because it's got a line in here, riding home with the windows up, alone with a plastic cup of real good wine. And he was afraid that his fans might think that he had um, he had back backslidden, had, had regressed, uh, which was not the case. And Amanda convinced him that you can write about things that you know, 
you can um, imagine things and write about them, even if you're not experiencing them right now. And so he did release it, and I'm glad he did. It's a great song. It's called Tupelo. Haven't been wasted in a long time But tonight it feels just fine Riding home with the windows up alone With a plastic cup of real good wine If I get out of this hole I'm going to Tupelo Got a boy down there That'll treat me fair You get about a week of spring And the summer is blistering there ain't no one from here that'll follow me there No, there ain't no one from here that'll follow me there He said there's nothing left to talk about And at my age I should have figured out which drawer to put the good knives in the war between the weekends tore our playhouse down kept him close but way too close to me he never lived up to my memory Driving fast with the windows down a past I don't belong to now, a mystery If I get out of this hole, I'm going to Tupelo There's a boy down there that'll treat me fair You get about a week of spring the summer is blistering and there ain't no one from here that'll follow me there no there ain't no one from here that'll follow me there if I get out of this hole I'm going to Tupelo Tupelo, Jason Isbell on the Nashville Sound Album, and I hope that you enjoyed that and found some things in his music that resonate with you. Um, if you enjoyed it, go out on YouTube, take a look. Um, there's a lot of his music out there, and I'm sure you will find things that you enjoy. And I will see you again in a few days. I uh, will take requests if you want to email them to me. That'd be great. Um, and we'll keep this up as long as we're not able to play in person. Take care, be safe, stay home, and we're all in this together. Keep the faith.